What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, Ian Stevenson has marched south from his fortifications in Moscow, or near Moscow, to engage this Ottoman army under Sunduk Ibn Abdi. Ibn Abd Abdi. And yeah, this is a force that's going to absolutely melt before our firepower. So let's get on with it and take him out. And the amount of firepower the British army is able to bring to bear in this campaign is monumental and we're going to start um, positioning certain armies on the northern coast of Europe ready for the invasion of Scandinavia and the capture of Danish territory. We have more than enough troops in the field to the south to engage and destroy the Ottoman Empire so we need to be ready for the next stage of the campaign. So let's create a centre position of line infantry. Let's put put our Swiss troops on the... Aha! I accidentally clicked a lot of them. Okay, so let's put our grenadiers here and our Swiss line will deploy further out. Our engineers are going to be on the left. Where our skirmishers are going to scouts the terrain on the left flank Put the bulk of our cavalry on the left flank because that's where we've got the the fewest amounts of infantry in a flanking capacity there we go general right front The reason why I'm deploying my light, my Scot, my Swiss infantry separately is because they are, you know, they're different size units. So it's difficult, or it's more difficult to deploy them in the manner in which they want to be used. So drive our cavalry hard on the right flank. Got our skirmishers up on the hill. Get our engineers up here as well. We have, we have a risk of souls somewhere. Sounds like they're hidden. Ooh. They took a bit of a hit. Fold in the flank. It looks like, well, bar there being hidden units, and if there are hidden units, I am more than happy to run into them. There we go, the main battle line has been joined. My sharpshooters are getting shot off against the Muslim. I mean, this unit of Muslim wasn't, didn't ever have much hope. There you go, there's a hidden unit of a Tsar. Fairly even. Ooh, hidden unit of Bashi Bazooks right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Devastating. These bashes are going to charge as well. So let's get my heavy cavalry in to attack the general's bodyguard. My Swiss line aren't in aren't yet formed up, but they soon will be. Let's pour fire into the Bashi Bazooks. I mean they are so depleted. Ah, they charged my Engineers, form my engineers up, you men engage the fellow in melee combat. How it's a ceasefire. don't really think there's much hope for the enemy. I mean, that Fellaini unit, fella unit might, will probably do some, well, it has done some damage to my infantry. So let's charge a second unit in to make sure they suffer the consequence. These units push up like so. My grenadiers can get up here. Where's my... There we go. General's bodyguard can knock out the Fellaheen there. 
You chase down the Irregulars. General Bodyguard has got to be done for any minute now. You can try chase down. There's only one Muscle in there, actually. So let's try to get them. There isn't really a critical need to wipe out too many units. Okay, scout, scout my... shift my uh, sharpshooters along. The left flank a little bit more. Good, let's get you guys to actually stay, stay here, actually. I know it's heavy cavalry and they're not really the best units to send in a pursuit, but they're faster than a man on foot. I know I could. Uh, maybe it's best to make sure I mop up that unit of Bashi Bazooks. Oh, that Semini unit was never going to last. You men. Cease fire. We are going to continue. You men cease fire. Artillery cease fire. Where's my general? There's one last Bashi Bazook. Then you can try and chase down those Feline, but they are likely out for the... They're, well, they're likely going to escape. Well, there is one unit all the way back there, but it's a unit of Muslim, which I'm not entirely bothered about. Question is, will my general get to... No. Sadly not. The pathfinding is very funky, so they're going to they're going to escape. Uh, so you always want to try and have your pursuing units not grouped up, because when they're grouped, well, if I group them up and right click, you can see it kind of they see like these green arrows that show they're actually trying to move to a place or a formation. So it's easier to just right click. You don't see any of those. What well, if I slow it down there? Uh, slow motion actually. So if I right group them together and right click like that so you think that gives them conflicting orders like yeah so they if you group them and try and right click they'll always try and stay in some sort of formation so it's usually best to have them ungrouped to make sure when you're chasing them down because then they seem to pathfind a little bit better but there we go that force has been absolutely obliterated reduced down to 135 men Back you devils go to Ian Stevenson's force. It is replenished and it will march up to the border. So let's go. Adam Shaw, let's march you down to this, to the road to Moscow. You men march down this side of the river here. Some Moldavia's taken, is being upgraded. You're pushing on to Sofia. You aren't really needed in aren't really needed in Istanbul, but let's see if we can wind them up a bit more. So let's take Eric Rodney. You can infiltrate Istanbul. Oh no, okay, right. I'm gonna need to. Yeah, I need to get them in one at a time. Um, elsewhere. Obviously, we took Istanbul. All of her beautiful buildings are ours. So this is our named force, and we do have a army a unit a, a, a unit request. So the forty seventh foot guards will become the admirals. I'm just, uh, <laughs> even though I speak English, I'm terrible at grammar. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got the Admiral's Regiment there, which is which is going to be another of our named units. Obviously, most of this this army is actually 
entirely named. Swiss pikes, sharpshooters, two regiments of two regiments of line infantry, both are heavy cavalry units and all of our artillery. You guys can't leave Transylvania yet, but I'm hoping by rebuilding the government building and upgrading and building some more religious buildings for conversion. Make sure you guys are replenishing. You are marching over all the way to join Ridley Doors, but that's okay. We have a lot of armies sailing over towards India, which is important because we have like some absolute junk units down here carrying three, roughly, nearly three full armies. So we've taken Ceylon. Colombo, we can't really build anything there. I mean, this is our... Yeah, you're our home fleet. But we're building another force. All ah, right. So let's bring... Okay, first, so I'm right-clicking on this ship to bring up the unit card of the gen of the Admiral's unit. I'm getting rid of Eagle just so it stays as... Well, the problem is is because it, it's recruiting HMS Neptune, but it's then staying as a... It's thinking of it as class HMS Neptune ship Eagle, whereas really, ah, oh, yeah, you've got a lot of a lot of ships that could be a lot of navy that could be recruited. So let's take Harvey Crabtree, move him to. Actually, don't need, they don't really need to move anywhere. First of all, let's take Orville Court over to here. Although, to be honest, you can just recruit at sea. Let's recruit some heavies, recruit some firsts, recruit some seconds, and then this ship here, Hugo. Hugo is a third rate ship of the line, so I want to the Admiral to be amongst the amongst the top. So let's go so get some thirds. We've got, we've got lots of these ships that have already been recruited. There we go. Let's expand our navy. So you're still needed here to cover the Straits of Gibraltar. We've got privateers that need to be sent to a trade zone, probably here. Yeah, We've got a trade post there that's currently unoccupied. Good stuff. When it comes to trade posts, Ivory Coast is well covered. Straits of Madagascar are... Ooh, got a trade post right there that's ripe for the grabbing. Oh no, we don't. Disregard. I oh, know we're at war with Prussia. I don't care about that. They'll, they'll die soon. And then the East Indies is fairly secure. Sheridan Dell. This fleet is occupying there. I mean, what I need to do, well, you're waiting for the final attack on, because the Pueblo nations are allied with Russia. So when I attack Russia, which we've seen before, that makes my game crash. We can push there. We want to build a... All of my cool American armies are actually recruited. So I'm going to build one general's bodyguard and then recruit from the general to try and see if there's any other interesting units we can use. And I'm going to recruit, rebuild, I want to build an army. Well, first of all, I think I need two. So I want one army to capture the last remaining native territories in the Americas, including Yankton and Agbatuk. And then I'm probably this army is going to be sent to join the war elsewhere because it's full of cool units. But I want to have an army ready to act as a. Um, God, you're that's fairly useless. I want to have an army somewhere ready to respond to any amphibious invasions. So let's get rid of 
all of these ships. Then here in then here in Cuba, we're going to build a bit of a, uh, a garrison fleet to help protect our coastlines. Obviously, we've got agent here, which we don't now don't really need. Path blocked. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Europe's okay. You may go here and be. Let's recruit a garrison guardsman to be a general. Radnal Bloodnock. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a perfect general to send to attack Denmark. You can build. Okay, let's start to try and. Two heavy cavalry, regiment of horse. Get your rocket troop. Two units of artillery. Two units of 24 pound of field artillery, that is. Let's get some. Twenty-four pounder howitzers, and let's recruit two Swiss line to join you. Actually, no, you need cavalry. Oh, you've got cavalry. Well, let's get one more unit of. Um, actually, no, we can get we can get two units of Swiss line. What are the odds? I'm never going to find it again. There we go. And the army is done. We've got fifty thousand. Of course, he was still besieging Prussia. But that's okay. Bavaria is, is reasonably converted now. Let's get over to Prague. Zagreb, lots of stuff is being built. Obviously we've been pushing in the Balkans. That's why everyone is... Lots of these armies are already depleted. You can't move out. I suspect you are probably the same Jude Abbott. Minus two. In theory you can, but let's leave it. Um, I mean, soon the war with Russia will be on, and I'm probably going to have to record it in one big session, uh, one big episode, because I can't let them stay at war with me because it crashes my game. Well, at least it has done before, and I see no reason why that wouldn't still happen. You men are waiting, so I want them to try and attack me. While I bring troops in on the east bank to prevent them from breaking out in that direction. Um, okay. Oxford. Research. Percussion cap. Because that's now the last thing you can do. Mosul is being demolished. Konya needs to be demolished. There we go. Not going to build anything yet because we've still got um, some issues around. Ottoman troops existing in our empire. But let's hit end turn because we all know what's going to happen this episode. We all know who is going to pop up on the horizon. Ah, oh, yes. One last. I think it's this might be the last action of the the Prussians. Um, I, yeah, I really didn't need to fight that battle um, or at least assault it because I've got plenty of armies in the field. I didn't really need to have um, this army on the front lines I was more than happy to just bottle them up and march past them because I knew the time was on our side so deploy the guns deploy a central core of fusiliers deploy our gunners up here so we can deploy a Grenadier Guard unit in, this, in the, the gap. Select our Fusiliers. Get them by in cover. Get our infantry up high. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Curiosity Guard, hold back. You guys hold back. Oh, okay, I thought that was the... Uh, I, I was under the mistaken belief that that was the unit in the centre. Our cavalry, just hunker down, do what you like. Howitzers. Is... 
Aha. So you guys are going to limber up because we are going to. We're not going to. We don't have to stay in these positions. Get on the move. So because these guys are deployed inside the, the gap, cavalry will... Um, no, artillery will get destroyed, I think, trying to climb over those barricades. Have they got mortars? Aha, they have. One of my gunners can mortar the bejesus out of them. The others are going to... Ah, what the hell. We're just going to assault, the, assault the, uh, the walls anyway. In which case, I'm going to want to take these guys and push them down here quite quickly. We get a regiment of line to secure the, the walls. Get another unit on the wall, and let's march two units around this side of the town just to make sure we chase these guys. Well, with guys on the wall, we can use these two units to push around here to make sure they don't get away. Supported by a Royal Cuirassier Guard. I mean, these poor dragoons are getting shot from the saddle quite conclusively. The lifeguards can march up. Push up our line. Yeah, I think they're they're aware of what's about to happen. Ooh, they just quick like they're quick climbing my lifeguards. The scoundrels. Oh, the Swiss mountain Jaegers are charging. Bad idea. Okay, you men deploy. Some grenadier guards up by the breach because that might now be necessary. Our fusiliers can anchor against the wall to prevent them being too dangerously outflanked. All of our artillery can fire round shot. Grenadiers can get ready to push through the gate. Ooh, that might not have been very good. Okay, I've had, I have to push up my fusiliers because they're the only units that are actually in a good enough position to put the enemy under threat. Keep on pushing. Royal Cressier Guard, chew up the 36th. There we go, you guys are a bit buggered now, I think is the technical term. So when these guys are up on the wall, they can run over here and secure a position facing down the enemy with their own guns. It's my gallant fusilier stand ready. Ah, too bad. But it looks pretty neat. I'm not pushing these guys in yet. Although I definitely could. I should, really. Haha, <laughs> the 82nd are too close. To be honest, my artillery just stopped shooting. Except. 
new men can engage. Swiss pikemen are charging. There's only 79 of them. And I think the 80th will have something to say about them coming their way. Oh no, they're reloading. Counter charge. There's only 79 of them, so I don't expect there to be too much of a showstopper. That much of a showstopper, I should say. Get our lifeguards over here. Cavalry across the 80th regiment might take a lot of a fair amount of damage actually against the pikemen. Let's keep pushing our troops that are that try to outflank and now looking a bit isolated. Okay, you might have to fight the Swiss grenadiers to prevent them from getting up to too much mischief. We can attack the the infantry here. But our outflanking units are going to do some real good here because the superior line infantry is not superior enough. There we go. So my Grenadiers can knock out the 59th. And charge my Grenadiers on into the General's Bodyguard, who is now trapped. New men charge into Firelock Armed Citizenry, because otherwise you're going to get picked off by mediocre troops. <laughs> Frantic musket reloading. It's not enough. Allons-y! The new men are just going to pour fire into the 22nd Regiment of Militia, who are the last unit standing. Yep, there they go. The officer's down. Just this. Pike, it's just there. I think in UK parts, that'd be Colour Sergeant? Yeah, these men are going to smash into these troops, the general, wherever he is, might have to just sim might have to simply uh, be executed by gunfire. But if I can knock out this unit of line infantry, you men fall back. Okay, good. and they've broken immediately in battle there we go general's not been killed but i suspect that is the end of the prussian empire which would be quite delicious well maybe not well not for long to be honest depending on what they've got left i might just, I might just auto it Yeah, the Ottomans are going to go attack all of our trade ships. That's okay. Enemy fleet ahoy. I know the trade. I know their um, their fleet was up there. I was just didn't really couldn't be bothered to really attack them. Plenty more trade ships where these came from. Funnily enough, though, they are getting whittled down. Plenty more ships for, for me. Blub, 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 blub. Look at them going, yeah. We better take a tr We better go knock out all their ships. We don't want their fleet to survive. <laughs> they can't even knock out a simple galley. Don't worry, these guys are going to have something to say about that. Oh, please sit on a trade node. 
<laughs> oh, they've just got to got one itsy bitsy bit of trade. And the Ottoman troops are pulling out of Ankara. Well, apart from one, they're going to raid. Yeah, raid away. Have at it, Sunny. Oh, they stopped me from destroying Konya. Fortunately, though, that's not going to help them. Oh, you know, that's not going to help them overall. Istanbul is primed to get bottled up now. We've got an army in the Balkans which can push north. Looks like they are determined to take back Baghdad. But I don't think that's good. They're going to get the outcome there they'd like. Kiev is holding. Russia is being Russia. I mean, to be honest, if Russia declares war on me now, I guess I can't stop playing until I kill Russia, because I know what they do. Denmark's going to Denmark. Come on. So we're gonna, we should see lots of fleet-arrived notifications. Okay. Oh, I see lots of, lots of ships. <laughs> First of all, though, Essek May. There we go. Attack that last Semini unit. So they are secured. So Lewin Mayhew. Let's get you. Let's get Lewin Mayhew down here. Alvin Veer, go back to your position on the Russian border. Oscar Hardinge. Position. Uh. Where to position? Over here. So you can land an army at Stockholm, march an army to attack Copenhagen, sail an army to hit Christiana, and march an army to hit Finland in one turn. A lovely army here, which will probably go for Reykjavik. Elsewhere, I think, generally... Okay, so I want to push this army up to here. Well, first of all, raid their port and push up. Now they can't stop me from just occupying here. This force that's dug in, just send them around around the patch at Ankara just to do mopping up duties. Make sure Konya does get destroyed. Fortunately, it doesn't work against us because the university is damaged, so it doesn't count. It's not researching, it's not making people unhappy, that's okay. Anchor is still replenishing. Yeah, lots of troops heading south. So let's start to recruit British line to help out. So you're Robin. No, Adam Shaw, sorry. You're ready to push against Ankara. Hadwin Charlton pushed down here. A named force in Transylvania can't really do anything. Elias Oldfield. To be honest, these guys are going to position to prevent any of their armies from Kiev from striking west. So fleet destroyed. Well, first of all, Edward Vernon. Clear him out. Bring the ship into the bring the ships into the fleet. Let's go back to Europe. I might just move these second rates up to join Oval. So Cadiz Naval Hospital, you're building third rates. You stop building, so get back rebuilding. Get back to building more heavy privateers and fifth rates. Just max it out. Rebuild our little trade fleets down here. So let's take Edward Vernon. Break up his fleet. Make sure we hold the posts. Ah, too bad. Oh no, some of them are okay. There we go. Construction report. Keep on upgrading. There we 
we go. Don't really need it, but it's nice. Don't really need the production in those areas, but it's nice to have some backups in the event of being surprised by the enemy. So you may need to recruit a militia unit. This force, Murph and a Murphy, 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 push into northern Syria. Keep building reinforcements. Commercial base in here. Army Staff College of Pennsylvania. We'll sort the recruitment out there in a while. Patient State. Upgrade you to commercial basin. There we go. Steam Power Cloth Mill. Wine Estates. Governor's Chambers. Still trying to convert them. Great States. Weaver's Cottage. And then we build, we've done a lot of building this turn. Tyrell Ashton is probably not needed. Well, I say probably not needed. Just keep pushing him up to the front. Oh no. Ooh, almost ruined that. Uh, so we were down in Hungary, yep. Lots of trade ports, steam engine factories, iron mine, Bosnia becomes a steam pumped iron mine. Iron workshops. Steam engine factories, steam power, cloth mills, army stuff, college in Vienna. Good stuff. I mean, I, re I get a real kick out of this sort of economy side of the game. But I'm kind of I'm a bit more of a bit of a financial nerd in real life as well. Well, to a degree. I know bits and pieces. If you explain, if you ask me to explain certain um, financial topics, I'll just look like a real dumbass. But I do like I like investing and all that kind of jazz. We need to go knock out Valletta at some point. A lot upgrade a lot to kilns. Built, 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 central Italy, built, and Spain. Here, have a craft workshop. You're going to be useful for something in due course, but... Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, I want to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen. Although some of these are just ships I've sent over. <laughs> okay, both. Oh, Elias Haskett, you can lead. Well, first of all, I think. Well, sail a regular. Send just a fleet over. See if I can land in Calcutta without a. I'm not actually at war with them yet, am I? Diplomacy, the Marathas. They're allied with Denmark, which is actually ideal. Declare war. Denmark hasn't joined them. This is perfect. So we've put Calcutta under siege, but the question is, how many of their ports have they left open? Because Timothy Sutton... And sail up to Trailblazers, is it? No, it looks like it is quicker to land outside of Orissa, outside of Katak. We could land, but I guess the infrastructure isn't good enough for us to march up to the territory in one fell swoop. I mean, our cot is our cot defended. If our cart's not defended, I'll go for our cart as well. If my sword is not defended, well, what I mean defended, I mean port wise. No, so I'm going to take our cart as well. I want to try and find all the armies that don't have. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. So that would be potentially three of the territories taken in one turn. So let's move a sixth rate into Calicut. Let's take our first little navy to land at Goa. I doubt we can take Goa in one turn. No, that's more like it. So we want to land here in strength. Get our agent up to Satara. Disembark Dominic Tully. Take our navy down to just chase off these guys. I'm not going to fight them because they're all Zebex and sloops and junk, so... We will pursue them wherever they lead, wherever they flee. So they've probably gone down to the corner of the map. There they are. So you can right click in between. You can right click to here. This the bit that's declared unexplorable to make to try and get the visibility right into the edges where they like to hide. So let's take this fifth rate out for now. Because Edward needs to make port for repairs. We want to beef up the troops deployed here. So let's get Dominic Tully out of the port. There we go. So then let's take this fleet. We are going to raid these ports. No worry about that. But I just want to look if there's any other territories that are easily yoinkable. Like Naroon. Okay. So let's take Jasper. You march up and take Naroon. God alive, this is going to be devastating for the Ottoman, for the um, for the uh, the uh, Indian factions. Eh, I'll take that. Our nation rules the sea. Flip. <laughs> bye bye Ottomans. We're going to have. Yeah, that fleet got quite badly smashed up, but I don't really think I'm going to be short of recruitment capacity. We do have an agent over here. Mustn't forget my spies, because they are going to be quite important. I mean, there's no one around our cot. Two armies here that should be able to hold off, hold off for a while. This guy is going to be quite vulnerable. But one last army... I might, I mean, I, it's tempting to run for a Medabad, but I don't think I can. I might land him up here and hold the bridge. Jules Bertie. Because that prevents anyone from the south coming up to relieve them, and that means this army, once they've taken their room, can push to either Zahedin or Kabul. Lots of good stuff. Then all of these little boats that don't really have a job. Just find an enemy port and sit in it. Cut them off. And Zahedin doesn't get a port. Well there we go. In one fell swoop we've... Uh, I'm going to sail a ship into Barcalor. Barcelor, Barcalor. There we go. We're in. So let's make sure we've... I'm just doing this to make sure we don't get caught out. I've left a ship somewhere else in the world. There we go. Oh no, whoops. Look 
recruitment report. Alsace Lorraine, Syria. Now there's lots of very serious stuff in the world. Workers on strike in Mesopotamia. Not anymore. <laughs> Prussia did get destroyed. Good stuff. So that means Breslau, repair the governor's mansion, upgrade new roads. But can this army, under Mark Cochrane, replenish and leave Breslau immediately? Yes, it can. Get to Gdansk. Because you need to be shipped over to the Americas. Shipped over to India. Um, I think I've drastically underestimated how how many how difficult it's going to be and I think I've just kind of I've bitten off way more than I can chew so I need more troops from everywhere to join the invasion except for those obviously like here that can push against Belgrade can you yeah you're gonna auto resolve against Mr. Siri. So similar to my Italian campaign, I'm going to try and get through the Middle East as quickly as I can. So this force here at Belgrade. Minus one is okay. Let's march you up. You're a bit... Andrew Harder, your fleet force is a bit different. Minus two. Again, it's still doable, but I'm going to leave it. Um... Sadly, this agent's not going to be of super amounts of super amounts of use to us. And over in America, we have these two generals, Frederick Hales and Hillary Stanley. Not possible, sir. Two hundred thousand a turn still. I, you know, I can't count on things not happening but I need to be careful I don't just bite off way more than I can chew which is definitely possible it's definitely possibly what's happened in <laughs> in um, India um, but let's get cracking so in a series of actions we're going to fight we're going to take Calcutta, Arkot, Mysore and Nerun which should be make quite a dent into their uh, into their forces actually before you guys repair. Sail. Ready for action. Oh no, you're you're I'm, I'm a dummy. Yes. Aye, aye, sir. Um okay, let's create a Sepoy army. Let's just get some East India Company cavalry in the unit of Lancer Cavalry. create a, a classic a more classical Indian army but first let's take Elias Haskett and attack Calcutta in the first step of our Indian Empire but we've got the 33rd foot all the way back here a bunch of fairly early recruits in my campaign the fifth the first regiment of foot let's attack Calcutta so we need to bring this territory under our control rapidly and begin solidifying our hold on the territory. Calcutta needs to start generating troops now, because I'm going to need a lot of armies, because the Marathas have been fairly docile and not active for an awfully long time, so they could potentially have a significant amount of troops built up. Terrain is not ideal for an artillery, for a foot artillery from a foot artillery perspective. My pikemen are going to clear the town. My Hessian line are going to form. My Hessian line in the 33rd are going to form the right flank. You might be a bit close, so let's drop you back. Some of our line infantry is going to advance cautiously around the left flank. Skirmishers are going to give them some support. We need to be really careful because we've got no heavy cavalry. OK, 
Okay. Attack the dervishes and the lances first. Engage the Royal Indian Cavalry Guards, you men engage the Bajir Lancers, you men engage the Union of Lancers, hopefully. Go on, 33rd. Come on, Richard Sharp. So, if this was the Light Company, that's Captain Morris. Hey, wait a minute. If that. Wait a minute. If that's Captain Morris. Oh, it doesn't have. Oh, okay. Some units have just have a. The guy just has a pike. That if if that guy just had a pike, he'd be Hakeswell. You guys break off the square, charge down the lats as you men continue to squeeze the left flank. The lancers should go down fairly quick. Keep dropping quick climb. Hopefully you guys pour a volley into the side of these dervishes. In which case then I better switch to round shot. Start dropping artillery on the cavalry to the rear. These lancers, yeah, they should go down pretty quick. Colonial light cavalry isn't terrible and they're lancer cavalry, so they should be upset about oh good. Lancers have got involved. The dervishes look like they got quite badly hit. Ooh, regiment of horse versus cavalry guards. Depleted cavalry guards though, that's the thing to remember. Hold the line, pikemen are advancing. Send our pikemen against the cavalry. Run my lancers to try to get into that building. Run up my line infantry to hold territory on the flank. Good. Indian Cavalry Guards have been pushed back, it would appear. Splat the Hindu Warriors with Quick Climb. You hit the Firelock Arm Populus. Keep the Cavalry ready. Ooh, good hit. There we go. Turn the Horsemen around. The new Pindari Horsemen, so they, they're light. our cavalry in, our artillery all the way to the rear, start lobbing shots at the general's bodyguard. So you men form up on one side of the town hall, find some troops around the flank, you guys get in there and knock out the mortars. 
Oh, they're shattered. Okay. Don't have to worry about them then. So let's take these three. Advance to the high ground. Indian mercenaries and lots of chaps in the center. Run away from the Hindu warriors. That's right. You take them out. So I'm curious, I don't know how well my plate can hold up against the infantry guards. Let's push one unit up around the flank. Push one unit to try and get to their rear. We've hit them. We have got them surrounded. Artillery cease fire. My howitzers can continue to engage. cavalry in, try and knock out the dervishes for good. So you charge the Indian guards in the rear, because if we do that, if we break this infantry guard unit we can then hit the third Dakil of infantry mercenaries in the rear. And that should cause them to break. My cavalry charge down that dervish unit because they're routing but they're not broken. Smash into the third Dakil. The first regiment of foot hit the 37th Dakili in the rear. looks like the right flank has completely collapsed. Mercenaries are trapped here. You guys are trapped here. Yeah, you might do some damage to me, but I think you are going to take a lot more damage than I will. These men are just going to pour fire into the general's bodyguard. Starting to pick away at them. Cavalry's going down because Hindu warriors aren't exactly the best thing to charge with light cavalry. So I probably want to do something like this. Oh good, they're routing. Good. Chase them down. That might be everyone. Yeah, it is. Hurrah. End battle with a heroic victory, and this is where we suddenly go, oh no, and there's a bunch of Indian troops near Bengal. Oh, but it's clear, it's completely clear. So let's repair, rebuild, build the barracks, replenish your troops, build a church, repair the port, don't build roads, build tea, because obviously I'm a British, so tea is one thing we need a lot of, Brothel in a tavern. Uh, get rid of the tavern. Ready? You're going to put Katak under siege next turn, but it'll be fairly similar, I think. But good old Elias Haskett, did he get anything for that? Dennis St. John, General of Infantry. At the age of 51, bloody, confident general, aide de camp, patriotic sword. He's 51, though. But he should last for a bit longer yet. Let's get a large spice plantation. Can't fight Katak yet. But we're going to take this force and attack our cop. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. And we've got a few Indian battles to go. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the assault on our cop. And again, this will be another... Um, fight them carefully to try and do as little damage as possible. To allow us to replenish and push on quickly. So thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.